Hello and welcome back to another episode of Forts and we got ourselves another cunning plan. We've got ourselves a, a 2v2 with some random internet denizens and I believe it is Exploderized on my team. It is indeed. And we're playing on one of the larger maps with Endo's mod. As I know you guys recognize this map, Exploderized no sell the metal first. It's fine. Wasted little wasted metal here or there isn't going to harm anything. So in order to get ourselves a nice strong economy, we're going to need to build up, sell off all these extraneous goodies, and now that we don't have to fight too much over economy, I should be able to get off one of these shots, I'll actually like Exploderize do it, as he's aiming for things. That should be enough to fire your shot. Go for it. Or I'll go for it. I'll go for it. Can I make the shot? Answer. Yes! Critical hits. Alright, I'm going to sell a lot. We've got those. I want to build this strut here. That way the supports don't give out. Upgrade center is good. Uh, we need a tech facility. There is a tech option. Now, can I make this other cannon shot? Is the real question. I don't actually have this shot practiced, but it should be right about there. Oh, so close. You can see their cannons smoking. So I'll wait for the reload time on that while I uh, start to get more economy and the idea here is drones we will become the aircraft carrier basically we have a lot of room here we could turn it into a giant drone launch platform and I think that would be incredibly powerful and incredibly fun I, I want to really want to see how strong these things are all right so this needed to be aimed a slightly higher fire boom one cannon down. So they've got no more cannons in front, which means we're free to sell off ours for the goods. And also just to open fire, apply damage as we see fit. Though I do want to protect these a little bit better. They shouldn't have anything, shouldn't have to worry about it. Alright. There's the laboratory. All we have to do is build a place for the drones to go. Uh, gonna want to sell this off at some point, just so we have clear skies. And just, honestly, the starting design of it's kind of wonky, which I kind of like that in map design. We have to redesign your base a little bit to make it better. Because otherwise, if we leave it up there, it's just gonna kind of be this towering mess. But make sure to sell off the expensive bits first so we get the metal back for them. And then we just kind of sell off the wood just by chopping out the bottom. See, 150 metal each one of those turbines and then send that away. Now we can build the drone launch platform, which I want to build. I don't want to go any more left, so we will build the platform here. Now these drone launchers are not too tall. They are a little bit more than two, so I'll bank these boxes two and a half. And do I want to go up? Uh, hmm. Actually, you know what? Let me slant these. That way they're not... Not flat on the ground. Give them a little extra reach. These drone launchers can be a bit... Shall we say... Shallow angled. Right, that should give us the nice launch platforms. Laboratory is finishing up just right now, so let's go ahead and build up our drone launch platforms. Activate commander ability for additional build speed and additional metal. 122 metal per second, and this will be four drone launchers right off the bat. No, I didn't practice this build. Yes, this is going much more smoothly than what happens every time on stream, and that is solely based on having stronger teammates. Alright, so that'll handle our storage for a while. This, this is one thing I didn't show off before. Uh, we have two new structures. The storage silo uh, can only be placed in the ground, but it has a massive store storage increase for both metal and energy. There's also the repair bay, which works the same way as the vanilla repair bay, but only but can only go in the ground and has a massive, uh, massive AOE. Let's go ahead and start launching. One. And... Two. <laughs> and three. And four. And those are some those are gonna be some good hits. Look at that. 
<laughs> Raining bombs from above. That's what I want to see. All right. Are those ready? Let's just go ahead and sell these off. Got more drone launchers on the front. Launch the carriers. Oh no! Three of them got shot out of the sky. It's fine. We still have the, the main payload for the one. And it's good. Alright, just a little bit more metal here. Are you ready to fire? Oh, those aren't ready yet. They are blocked. Alright, so let's fire these like so. I just wanted to wait for the flak to go by. Then drop the bombs. Hey, they defended against one of them. But these, these drones, they leave a mark. They leave a serious mark. Alright, and more metal. Wait for the flag to fire, then launch the other two. Go on, take them. Bombs away. You know, that one flak is actually doing a lot of damage. Uh, I didn't fire that one first. It's okay, because it's gone anyways. Looks like Exploder is already on the ball. We're trying to get rid of the, uh, that pesky flak launcher. Let's go ahead and add another set of drone launchers here. There we go, he's upgrading that sniper. I did real bad with aiming those. Figured you know the boat's so big you can't miss it. I missed it. Oh. <laughs> those bombs just deal so much damage, guys. It's like kind of ridiculous. I love it. All right, additional drone launchers. Oh yeah, three bombs, same spot. <laughs> That's a critical hit if I haven't seen one. Alright, let's add doors on these boys. Oh! Ooh, that's not great. Not ideal. Okay, so we need a little bit more power on these to drop these bombs later. No! Alright, where's that sniper? Time for that flak to go away. Or, you know, just straight bomb it with the drones. That looks like the drones got it themselves. Alright. Let's get the next wave. Next wave of drones online. I like this. This is something I'm definitely going to be doing on stream. Drop that bomb right on top. There we go. That's what I want to see. Now, I don't think they have much left, so we'll just go ahead and finish him off. Wow, I cut so deep. My god. It's just so brutal, guys. Look at the bombs. <laughs> we are the ultimate aircraft carrier. Oh my god, I like that one. Let's do that again. And we're off to round two! Alrighty, but this time it is just Exploderize and I facing off in a 1v1 scenario. Let's see what kind of damage we can do to my good friend here. So that should give us the power to fire this one right into the front. Very good. And sell this, get another mine, build up our turbines back here, elevate the platform so they actually get some decent efficiency, and then build the turbines themselves. Every time we sell off one of those guns, we get a significant boost of, well, economy. And that's what I like to see. Alright, so the shot should put us... No, don't hit me. I need to go higher. Uh, it looks like he's actually built up around there, so I could just sell these off now, because I will not be using them. 
get myself some technology. Continue building up with the turbines. Alright, let me get an upgrade center as well so I don't waste all the minerals. All the metal, that is, because minerals is not something in this game. It's metal, not StarCraft. I'm fine, I promise. Alright, more metal. Oh, it's so beautiful. All the economy we're getting. Yes. Make that critical hit and be rewarded with nothing. Okay. I actually didn't need to sell off that bunch there, though I do want to sell this. They're all nice and neat. Alright, that should be good. Sell this. More energy. Got the upgrade center kicking in, uh, but I do want to put down the, what you might call it, the laboratory next. Yes, I have already sold off that which you seek to destroy. Alright, laboratory time. Laboratory, we'll put him right here. Out of the way, never used, or at least, never uses the armor. Never hit by anything, is what I'm trying to say. Be safe in the back, There's no issues, it's good. Worry about it, it's fine. Alright, sell that. More turbines. Energy production. I like it. Alright, sell these because they're 150 metal each. Sell this, 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 this. There we go. Yes, you can take that as far as you wish to take it. As I get more metal. Alright, so. What is my opponent making here? He's got himself some flak. He's doing the same kind of design I am. There doesn't seem to be anything terribly exciting going on on his end. At least not that I can see. We're all just teching up. Getting the goods going. Y'all know I'm going to be using those drones. That's what I plan to do. The lab should be almost finished up. Let's go ahead and create a place for the drones to go. Right in the back. One, two, three... Four. Can I make six? I should make six. Five and six. That's gonna be real tall. Real precarious too. Like you can see it lean. Look at it lean. It's good. We good. No problems. Exploder Rise is probably gonna take that as a time to start building anti-air. Just probably a good time for him to build anti-air. Well, I'm going to take this as a time to just start building things to shoot at him with. Uh, we need so much more energy right now. Yes, feed my commander ability. Do it. I may have gone a little bit overboard on proportions from uh, mines to turbines. Because I have 81 metal per second, but only 400 energy per second. Please save me. Right, that should help a lot. Alright, now let's get these guys going. He's probably got plenty of anti-air to deal with this right now. Or at least one anti-air to deal with this right now. Alright, can I make this shot? Oh, almost. I need... Batteries is what I need, actually. Is that going to do it? Yes, it's gone. All right. So those... Batteries. Give me you. Activate commander ability while I spam these out. Nine batteries should be more than sufficient to deal with whatever it is I need. Uh, I didn't see what was the fate of these aircraft at launch. Oh no, these lean too far and they're no longer placeable, which means I need to yank this forward a bit to level it out just enough to place this on it. There we go. I refire those and let's see what the fate of them is. Black machine gunners. Okay, so I just missed. That's what's going on there. And now he's turning his attention to my core. I think he figured out that I sold off the guns. And there's not really much there for him to hit. Okay then, so in this case, let me go ahead and send those off there. That should land them somewhere in the front. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Oh yeah. That's some nice hit. Let's set these on too. 
And then that should hit a bit further back. Probably right where his cannon is. Nope, that's way further back. All the way in the back. Actually, if I can hit his drone launches, that would make me happy. Let me go ahead and get an additional flak here or two. Or more. Come on, flak, take it out. Oh, and that's a complete miss. Oh boy, come on, flak. Oh, his own gunners took it out. All right. Oh, my bomb's not j just not quite far enough to hit his own to hit his own drone launchers. This is this is actually getting kind of close. Like I'm starting to worry a little bit. And so that needs to fire over here. This needs to fire fair further back. All right, is that gonna do it? Is that gonna do it? Not quite. A bit too far this time, but we're still taking out his launchers or his uh, drones themselves. So we're still okay here. Okay, so I think what I need to want to do is just a little bit more armor. I've got the resources to spare. So let's go ahead and start spending it all. Oh, look at all those gunners. And they're not hitting their mark. Oh, all of his energy production. We're bombing it out of existence. <laughs> Complete disconnection from the rear of his base. And if you guys know, that's where his technology is going to be. That's where everything is. So that's going to hurt him a fair amount. All right, so now I need to aim a little bit less far, because I do want to hit his drone launchers. All right, now these gunners might cause a problem. Oh, we're going to hit his launchers? I think we're going to hit his launchers. Oh, we get a direct hit, but he has so many gunners, it's not quite enough. We need to do it more. All right. Launch and launch. Uh, can we set up another? Let's set up another array of drones. It's not good enough. Oh, okay. In that case, uh, let me sell off all of this. What I'm gonna do is create a section here, just for drone launchers, and armor the front of it so that it can't be directly hit without going through doors. Actually, you know what? Let me. I sell all this off as well. Just rebuilds in its entirety this whole section. Come on, at least one of them get through. We've got so many bombs coming down. Two hits, and that's that's some serious damage. Took out one of his launchers. One less to deal with. Okay, so now we want about two and a half. Enable grid. Two and a half. Two and a half. Two and a half. There we go. Drone, 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 and drone. Did not mean to use metal, but that lives there now. Connect all this in the back. Add a little nip to the front, which will be made out of doors. For reasons that he probably still has that cannon. Activate commander ability for the build speed. And refire my existing drones. Alright, so I'm fairly certain he took all that out. Yeah, it looks like he's got nothing over there for me to hit. Yes, yes, yes. Splash your cannon all the way across the front. But this time we have low-flying drones, instead of these high ones that arc up from the rear. And where do you drop your bombs? Right there! Oh, so many casualties. It's just beautiful. Come on, drop, drop the bombs. No hits. Fire everything, all the drones, go. That's a solid hit on the front. The, just the AOE on these things is enough to, to break, well, pretty much everything. But oh my lord, 
I think I need to change targets on these because these just got way too many gunners on the back. Need to have something with less flight time. Alright, so let me go ahead and take this time to build additional one of these. Actually, let me go ahead and use a couple of these storages because I don't need as much metal income as I'm using because it's just floating, so I might as well store it somewhere. Alright, so you guys need to aim and drop your bombs a bit earlier. You guys a bit earlier as well. But power keys three and four are pretty good. So while you're occupied, do the damage. Oh yeah. We're not really getting a whole lot of good hits here. So I'm probably going to have to do something with my flak to clear out some of these gunners. Get the bombs dropped. Oh, that's a good hit. We're doing quite a lot of damage to his front here. Alright, this guy. Need to set him up to actually be able to do some damage. I think everyone else is able to do damage. So I think everyone else is aimed. In that case, let the tabby free. So many bombs. So many hits, actually. No, actually, not, not really that many hits. The flag go. The drones are ready. Look at the, just the gunners he has. Alright. Come on, Flack. Do some work. Alright, which one of you? You. Not exploding where I need you to explode. Hey, we got a hit on his core. Alright. Come on. Keep the bombs going. He isn't actually able to get any hits off on us. Which is good. Those machine gunners are surviving so long. I almost blew away all of my own drones there. Look at how long they're surviving. It's because he's got a repair bay on them. The extra repair speed is uh, keeping them alive, mostly. Alright, I think we're just going to need more drones then. He's taking out so many of my drones. It's just like slaughter. Oh, the flak. Hey, we got another hit. I like how I'm just happy to get one hit. That's another hit on the core, though. And with the fire damage, that's not insignificant. All right, this boy needs to move. Yep, saw that coming. Come on, thread the needle! Yes! Alright, I think I need to aim these to explode a little bit further back. Come on, get the bombs off. The target the core! Oh, we got another hit. It's so close. It is so close. All the drones. <laughs> Door closed just in time. I'm not sure that could have been any closer on the door timing. Alright, let's get another one of these here. Here. Here's a good place for it. Let's aim these differently. There we go. Alright, a lot of his gunners are down. Can we nail the top? Still not enough. We could, we're could. we destroying his front. Oh, he's changed tactics. He's no longer trying to uh, use the front as a machine gun base. He's now setting them to uh, just take the hits. 
That means we can change our drone launchers. No more do they have to target the front. I can now aim lower. I think theirs should be good. And right about there, perhaps? Oh yeah, that's cutting it real close to our own. That looks good. Aim these lower. And launch earlier as well. Okay. These need to launch later. These need to launch later. Alright. This. Door goes back. Thank you. And then we are ready to fire everything. Clear the way. And then drop the bombs. Look at the bombing run. It's beautiful. Oh, the cannon. Alright. Launch everything again, please. Thank you. There we go. Oh, that poor cannon. He's having such a hard time right now. <laughs> Just the low angle on these bombers. It's merciless. Alright. This is going to do some damage. No more cannon for you. Let's go. The drone's running free. We're actually missing his core a fair amount. But the damage... Oh! Ho, ho. He actually missed. That could have been devastating. Uh, let's stop that from being an option he can use. Once we get three doors, he can no longer burn his way in. My commandability is active. Do finish the building of these quicker, as well as fix uh, any economic issues that we do not have. Oh, no, no that's different. The fire beam is actually going to cause problems. But he's got such an exposed core with the bombing run. Finish it off. Oh, so close. Danger close hits. Oh, it's not enough. So close, but it doesn't do it. Oh jeez, just teetering on the edge. All right, the next bombing run, and he gets out of there. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. Well, that was a very good game, Exploderize. And as you guys know, I do like to do games with the community. You can join below just by hitting the link to the Discord. And as always, we'll be doing streams live on Saturdays East. 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But for now, have a good one, everyone. And I'll see you guys later. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell. Otherwise, you may not see the next video.